It's Friday, everybody, and that means it's music time. This episode, I'll be making music with this wine glass for this art piece. The art is by Robert Moore, who has been so kind to let me use his art for this episode. So a big thanks to Robert for letting me use his art for this episode, and let's make some music. I think the glass can help create a fragile, sharp sound that would suit the art nicely. Because in my mind, getting that winter feel has a lot to do with using harsh frequencies and getting rid of all the bass. But the art is not all cold, there is still sun and warmth to the picture, so we need to have that in mind still. So we are making music using only this, and I won't be using any fancy tricks or anything, just reverb and EQ to filter out any frequencies I don't like. The first thing we can do is to fill the glass with different amounts of water, and then we can make the glass sing. And from those recordings we can make chords. Sadly, the reality of this is that there aren't that many notes in a glass, even if you vary the amount of water in the glass. So I had to record some different takes with some different amounts of water, and then I would tune it to the nearest frequency in the F minor scale. And yes, it is more work to do it with different recordings. You could easily just do it with one recording and just tune it differently. But in this way, you get different recordings that are different to each other, and that makes it more organic. You can do this in a way that won't mess with the sound too much if you change the warp mode to re-pitch. You can then add a tuner to the track and then you can shift drag the sample while playing it until you get the pitch you want. This way you won't get any artifacts in the sound, but you will get an even longer or shorter sample. But in this instance it doesn't really matter to me. Then I added some reverb and an EQ to filter out the bass and the harsh frequencies. Then we can add a melody by flicking the glass and remove the start of the sound. I layered the melody with the same sounds we got from the chords, just shorter. Again, I tuned this with the same method that we did with the chords. I also found that dragging the glass across my table and then removing some frequencies, it almost sounds like you're walking in snow. Maybe. And lastly, to add some ambience, I've used the same recording but put a very big reverb on it, so it almost sounds like wind. And if you put it all together, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> 